what's going on guys I'm gonna cape this bear out uh, beautiful chocolate bear with some blonde highlights and then a gigantic white patch on his chest just a, an absolute gorgeous freaking bear uh, we just got it down here to the creek got a nice little flat spot we drug it we've probably been rolling and pushing this bear for probably 45 minutes we're in pretty big hurry to get him taken care of um, it's not so dang hot down here in this creek bottom. It is very warm today, but we're in the shade, we're out of the sun, and we're just gonna start to get this thing caped out. So, hope you enjoy. So what I'm gonna do is cut right here at the base of the throat, right underneath his jaw, basically right there where you think that joint is gonna move his head up and down. I'm gonna cut that all the way down to his anus. Okay, now that we have the main cut down the torso of the body, I'm gonna go up to the wrist and I'm gonna work this wrist at joint right where his pad is. You flip it back and forward like this. Find where that wrist would be and you're gonna cut right through there. And then I'm gonna make a nice straight line from the wrist up to the elbow and into the armpit. And I'm gonna connect up here with this cut. Well, now that we've got the front shoulders off and uh, caped out the paws, you just go to the bottom of this paw here and then you rotate the paw back and forth, kind of like this, cut straight through that joint, leave it on, and then you're kind of like peeling off like this. And then you're gonna cape underneath this side and bring it all off in one nice piece, just like this. Got some meat left behind, you can get some dirt in it, you can't help that some dirt and some leaves but that's what you're looking for just one cut up the front and it's in, in the inside of the arm and then just peel it backwards like this cape as you go down okay now we're gonna move backwards towards the rear hams and cape straight down and straight on the inside of that knee down to that bottom pad do the same thing rotate that pad like this try to find that joint stab in there and then peel around just like that Okay guys, we are on the last quarter. We just did the rear ham on this side. You can see kind of similar, but look what we just noticed. This bear has a deformity on his rear pad. That's how it grew. We thought that we broke his foot, like kind of rolling him down the hill to the shade. No, that's how it grew. Like his pad, complete deformity. He's got one claw and that's it. Look at this one, nice normal pad. Big normal pad. Deformity on the other side. Super strange. Um, anyways, okay, you're gonna come right down the side where we were just coming down to cape, and you're gonna come up from this rear pad up a nice straight line. So 
So I'm gonna start right here. Give myself a little notch, pull it tight. There you go. And then just come on a straight line towards his ankle. Okay, so now I have a perfect straight line, well, straight-ish, straight line from the ankle up to our cape where we stopped caping it towards the anus. And now I'm just gonna break this, kinda pick this joint, to feel it goes back and forth. I'm gonna feel it, it's right here in my fingertip. So I gotta get back to that point. Cape this stuff out of your way so you can see it. Give yourself some room. Ooh, that shade feels good. The breeze. Mm -hmm. As you can see back over here, we got quarters hanging in the tree, getting them up off the ground, get airflow around them. They're in the shade. Uh, for the most part, but we're in the shade back there getting cooled off. And then as soon as we get this last quarter off, get the back straps, tenderloins, scrap meat. We already got most of the neck scrap meat as we went. Uh, and we'll be able to load up our bags and get them out of here. Head for an ice cold latte. Yes, what Jeff said. Pizza and lot. You said it. You I, said we're gonna be having lunch today after you kill your baby. I, I told you we. I, ma I was gonna manifest it. <laughs> I spoke that into existence. You did. I, I will give that to you. Yep. <laughs> Look at how sticky that is. <laughs> I just found my bullet. This is the first time ever that I've retrieved a, a full bullet. And that's has done exactly what that thing is supposed to do. Mushroom and held together. Look at that. Look at that. I'll put it on the white contrast so you can see that. Look at that. That's pretty freaking neat. Like that re retained its weight, man. It didn't just, just explode. Yep. That's freaking cool. I'm keeping that. <laughs> Putting a bullet in my pocket. <laughs> That's pretty hillbilly, but. Did you hear me like hit it and go, ah! Yeah. <laughs> I knew exactly what it was too. All right, so we got both the rear quarters off now. That's where it was. Stuck in that little seven millimeter type hole. Yeah. So now Jeff is caping the rest off the back so that we can get at the back straps. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just have back straps and some scrap meat left to get. Uh, work around some of this bloodshot and damage from getting hit, see what we can salvage off of it. And uh, we'll be getting ready to load up and get out of here. We'll uh, show you the full cape and everything done when we're finished here. Hell yes. 